Um, when did the idea of having a persona like Papa front the band, when did that come into play? Because it's been there from the beginning, early days. Um, again, the hen and or the chicken and the egg there. It's like, when I think back of my whole a musical career if you want but but my whole for as long as I've been wanting to be in a band or been trying to be in a band and I've always been very image oriented and Subvision had an image Repugnant had an image even the bands before that was sort of image driven mm -hmm. and before I had a band I was definitely always picturing myself being in an image um uh, embraced band um, so I mean I've always been under the assumption that in order to be an artist that was interesting enough to stand on a stage you have to be something different than what I am um, and uh, even though I intellectually I I understand that, that, that if you know when I was a kid, I thought I was going to transform into another person because I thought that there's no way, no chance in hell that someone from my street with my background was was going to become a rock star. Right. So in order to become a rock star, I need to transform into another person, which felt per per perfectly natural. Right. Um, now, years later... <laughs> it's funny how little has actually changed from that. I mean, I haven't really strayed from that path. I transform into someone else in order to feel like I am would it, part of that. Would it be completely foreign for you as Tobias to stand on stage and sing these songs? Yeah, I don't, I, I don't feel cool with that. Yeah. 